This is very hard, back just so everybody, everybody oh, knows. That's a great opening score. No, it's off the post. I'm excited. <laughs> but Simon puts it in for the 45. He's taking no risks there, mate. Some jitters from the dubs on the big day in Crow Park here. <laughs> it is a massive weekend of GE action coming up, including three different provincial football finals. And we have decided to preview one of them the only way we knew how by playing a 12-year-old PlayStation 2 game. This is Gaelic Games Football 2 on the PS2, and I am joined by Mick McCarthy and Gary Connaughton. Right, so we've got the team set up, ready to take the field. Right. These are the real players, <laughs> the starting 15 that may, well, we don't know, maybe you know, some of you have named a dummy team, I'm not sure yet, I'm gonna see if they line out as named, but these are the lads that started the semi-finals. <laughs> and here they are with the parade. Band, very quiet has to be said, the Artane band, <laughs> And uh, not a lot coming out of them. Good crowd in Crow Park yeah. though. I yeah, heard I they did. were only expecting 30,000, but it looks like it's a full house. Great Steve Loose fitting jerseys too. Yeah, yeah. It looks to be there like Seamus Lavin's got a new afro. Um, <laughs> lots of white boots. Yeah, lots of white boots. So here we go. Oh, oh, oh the oh, national oh, anthem. We're straight into someone to skip, skip there. there. So then we go for the throw in. We're ready Come to on go. The up up we go. It. We, oh, it's, bro it's broken well away, and it's Mead on the attack straight away. Of course, we are. I am joined by. The legendary Michal Amara Hertig on commentary. Oh, Michal, boy, that was oh. a terrible wide. <laughs> yeah, it's not a great start. There we now, go. Stephen Cluxton. Now, Mick, if you don't win this by <laughs> oh, a minimum of 10 points. I don't points, know what happened there. It's, it's I don't really know how to run. play this game, I have to be honest. Oh! oh. Did that Is that over? the first score of the game? No, wide no, ball. White ball. White. Now, something badly. You something don't want to hold it too long. If it goes into the red so bit there, you're in Stephen trouble. Stephen Cluxon trying to <laughs> oh, stick with his uh, patented short kick out, and he's going another <laughs> kick out, but is that going to make it the distance? The referee's letting it go. Cluxon's out. Oh, he's missed it! And then, oh! Oh, 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 it's off the post! He's no, not into the goal. He let it in. He let it in. No, it's a white ball. Joe Sheridan's. Joe Sheridan's. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Sheridan straight away. <laughs> Not sure oh, what happened got, there, the I ball stayed in play. Oh, he ran into the goals with the ball, uh, yeah. I think it was Picky Newman, but the oh, umpire decided to signal it Terrible ball, sideline. Going back. And then the, <laughs> the, umpire, or the, referee, or should say, the linesman doesn't know where it's going. That's it's an interesting uh, there, si signal by the linesman. There's five lads standing there with no... Like, oh God, I can't play this. <laughs> this is And the linesman once again, again. calls the side, the sideline ball. This is a very good score. Who's taking it? Ryan. This is very James hard, just so everybody, everybody oh. knows. That's a great opening score. No, it's off the post. I'm excited. <laughs> but Simon puts it out for the 45. He's taking no risks there, mate. Some jitters from the dubs on the big day in Crow Park right. here. <laughs> this has been all mean so far. Donald Hogan taking 45s. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Menton straight through. Oh, there we go. Menton with the first score of the That's game. That's a great no. point. I have to be honest, I haven't started well, Dublin, <laughs> like, you know, nine Lancers in a row isn't it? I like the shot, he, he, he didn't even look at the man. Yeah, no a lovely pass. disguise shot. Get him. Has stands, gone but... short with every kick out so far, he's going to have to go uh, long here, Kick out from the 21, uh, that's interesting. Like they the old days. A few years. Fenton, can Fenton claim oh, the show, he's let it by him, but Niall Scully is on the ball. Scully straight through in the D, he's got to put it over, surely. Oh, it's a wide, that was disgraceful. Well, in fairness, it's the first time I've gone in the right direction since the game has started, <laughs> so I'll take oh, it. No, I'm after doing it as well. Colgan with the kick out. Oh, he scuffed it. And Conor Callaghan had a straight through on the ball. Conor Callaghan has a goal chance here. Oh, He's put it over it. with an open goal. Oh. <laughs> but look, a double on the scoreboard eventually. Uh, the keeper tried to block it down, surely, no? Terrible kick out, you have to say. I'm, I'm really not used to this, uh, you're able to hit the ball too hard. <laughs> it actually was a... Uh, One all here, this is a lot tighter match than I thought it was going to be. Colin Good Gallagher is out in front again, yeah. Score, Cormac Costello going up ah, for this, right. but Brian Fenton claims that. That's brilliant, catches the mark, decides to play on. Conor Callaghan, straight through again. Oh, it's gone short. He's tr I think he could have rugby tackled Conor there after the ball was gone. <laughs> Colgan would see. That's lovely football from Dublin here, but going into it again. Michael Fitzsimons wanders go. up the pitch now. He's ah. caught there. Oh, great interception there by Darren Gavin playing in his first Leinster final. Ball retention is poor. Brian Howard goes for the pass to Paddy Andrews. What are you doing in there, Paddy? You're about to put it over to Mario. No, he hasn't. The new hairstyle has done him no favours. <laughs> that ball has gone wide. This is uh, starting to get, Dublin's starting to get on top here. This yeah. is. Of course, you have a lot of lads to spring off the bench, Mick, oh. as well. You've got a uh, Dean Rock there. You've the only a... problem with that, Mark, is I don't really know how to make any subs. Yeah, that's an issue. Oh, great tackle. It's an issue that's affected GA managers for many oh, years. Oh, Keena Sullivan, Here's what are you Donald doing? Donald Kogan going for the shot. Well wide, though, well wide. Poor game so far, you have to say. I have to say, <laughs> but it's a lot more interesting than a lot of Dublin Flenster finals. It's <laughs> one all here. It's, it's a contest, at least. Kick out goes long, Killian or Keena Sullivan takes it. 
I figured I'd have to catch the ball, Gary, but I'm not telling you how. <laughs> Brian Menton's having a stormer so far, and he's coming through the middle here. He needs support. He's hand passed it out to the wing. Oh, it's great. Brendan's not going to get there, but Flanagan has got on the ball. He's at it in high, and Mickey Newman. Oh. Michael Fitzsimons. Ruling the roost there at full back. Oh, what a block. Ref. I think it's a free. Ref could be a free. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go for the score. Go for the score. Is now Davey it's Bourne not an easy one now. Has given away the free. Ryan has kicked that wide. A difficult shot for it Gary was. for a right foot. Outside, right outside of the right there, yeah. it, was never, it was never likely. Cluxton looking for someone to make a run. He's abandoned the short kick out. Mean seems to have gone with a full press here, which is interesting. Oh, flicked on by a double hand, but it goes straight to me. But Michael Fitzsimons again in with the interception. Fitzsimons has been flying for Dublin so far. But well, speaking of lads who are flying. These seem to be uh, sprinting, unlike the Dublin players. I wonder how they're not, doing they that. They weren't <laughs> expecting such a... <laughs> such Gavin McKay coming on the ball here. He's, this is a great run. I thought it possibly oh, stepped there. He's hand passed it straight to Davy Bourne. Uh, there seems to be a team developing with the Mead lads here. That they, uh, oh, here we go. Here's Mickey Newman. Oh, Mick, First time on the ball. He's definitely travelled there. No idea how to tackle. Oh, it's going in. Oh, oh. Cluxton claims it. <laughs> the terrible Scott clearance. <laughs> Menton, no. Gavin blocked it down to Cormac Costello, but no, Dolan oh, Cogan's on the ball again. Oh, was he assassinated there? I'm not sure what's happened. Five minutes Cogan's at a time. on his feet. With a five minutes of interim oh. at the end of this half, as Mick says. Cogan plays it to Ryan. Oh, that's short, that's short lovely three, play here. Oh, oh, another possible Cluxton's chance. Catching, Cluxton is fielding all around him. Ah, uh, where? Why aren't they passing it to people? This game is not easy. It is yeah, dead. Oh. And he hand passes that over. Did you have this game? Right? this? Uh, I did, yeah, but um, I don't think my experience playing this game when I was like seven or eight is going to do much <laughs> for me now. Lads, I'm surprised that it's one off. Dublin aren't playing as well as they should be here. If you I'm not one bit surprised given that <laughs> I'm controlling. Me, they're not. Me could rule this though. They're not taking their chances. The hand pass is straight through. The amount of unforced turnovers here is staggering. If Mead could figure out how to pass the ball above head height, I think it'd be the run away with it. McMahon now. This is going to be a score this here. Where's the defenders? It's opened up a front of him. He's travelled. No, he's been up for half time. time. <laughs> well, that was an interesting thing to referee ah. there. Typical Dubs in Crow Park. That's what happens. Look That's. <laughs> We're all level at half time. What are your thoughts on the first half so far, Mick? Uh, How's it going so far for you? Have to say, I don't think uh, my players are really performing to the top of their level. Uh, you know, probably should have had a goal. Lots of, well, I haven't had time to tell you because the second half started. So. Pause it there. You can yeah. see Conor Callaghan with one point for Mead so far. Brian, or for Dublin, Brian Mentor with a point for Mead. Your sick, your kickouts. You're going to have to sort them out. I think I've actually the kickouts have improved a little bit. What what uh, Stephen. Cluckow Cluxton is going to have to do a little bit better is uh, take his kick better from open play. Yeah, They've been pretty poor so far. So Gary, interesting tactic from you, winning the ball back multiple times, then sending the hand pass straight to Dublin player. What's your thoughts behind that? Well, look, West Mead man in charge of Mead, it was always going to happen. Like, I, There's only so much I can do with them, to be honest. They, they can't hand pass, I tried to hand pass the ball above their head, they can't do it. Like, I'm trying to kick it over the bar from 20 yards and they're just, I, I don't even know what to say. It's a poor carpenter blames the tools. Exactly, that yeah, well. has to come down to the manager, but let's get stuck in here to the second half. No halftime changes, I understand? Don't know how still. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, we'll, we'll go what we have. Let's do it. Fenton and Menton. Oh, Fenton. Cormac Costello was surely not outside, inside the 45. Oh, an, that's awful, an awful uh, attempt at a pass from Cormac. The man is playing well here. Bray Menton again on the ball. Killian O'Sullivan. Goes for the shot, he's going to drop short. Cluxon's in around the house. Fenton, Fenton just up. under a panic there gets rid of it. O'Sullivan drops it. We've hand passed it. We've hand passed it to no one in particular. <laughs> McMahon now. Mickey Newman straight through a goal. Will he, through, will he bury it? He has to bury it. He's put oh. it over. Will Mead rue that missed opportunity? You get a point, but yeah. look at this, Gary. How did you not bury this? I was like, I don't, I don't know to be honest. Um, the buttons, I'm still not 100 percent sure on. So, does anybody uh, the buttons? Serious exactly. question. Know how to change player who you're controlling? Because <laughs> I haven't a clue. I think it's and triangle. It's, it's been a, it's been a cost of a few. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the linesman again has no idea. This is very realistic. <laughs> We've seen a lot of uh, linesmen in club football just throwing the flag straight up in the air with no idea which way it's meant to go. James McCarthy's been quiet so far, but he's on the ball now. And Cormac Costello could, could be getting the Cordy finger soon enough if he doesn't get into this game. Conor Callaghan through again. Oh, that's a great, that's tackle. a great tackle. Callaghan has gone by him. 
Darren Gavin's just lumped it in there to see, in around the house, see what's happening. But Gallagher mops it up. I may have to abandon the hand pass. I may need to bring on Dean Rock here. Menton is everywhere. Flanagan out the ball, he's sent this. This is the sort of ball you need. Mickey Newman, but there's two, two double men, and yet it oh, falls to Collins. Where's the corner back? Collins got in. Oh, oh what a save by Cluxton. Can Collins do it? I don't believe it. Two meters. <laughs> up and goals. They're so close to being Leicester champions here. <laughs> oh my god. I have a feeling it's written me. in the stars. John Small has to win this if Dublin are saying this game. He hasn't. Killian O'Sullivan is now on the ball. Killian goes from the long ball in, but Simon mops it up again. But he's been out. Oh, he's oh. been dispossessed, but he's been dispossessed. There's so many dispossessions. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Costello, Arden Nile Scully. Scully again, the Dublin half forward line, Barrow Callan, has not been in this game. Donald Kogan oh. hand passes it straight to Brian Howard. No, Shane McAtee gets it. McAtee into Ryan. Great ball. Ryan wheels around. Ryan put it straight over Ryan. No, he doesn't. He's kicked it short. Oh, terrible hand pass. McMahon oh. puts it over the bar. A three points to one lead for me. This is unassailable. Yeah, high scoring game. Yeah, two points could be a lot to cut the crawl back. We're almost halfway through the second half here, and Mead lead by two points. Nobody oh, saw this coming. Catch. McMahon has ruled the roost here, here in the it. second half. I'm not sure why he's out round midfield, but... Uh, <laughs> Questionable uh, technique from Cluxton there. Cluxton plays the ball outfield, but he plays it straight to Dunkel. Stephen Cluxton's, uh, I never thought I'd say this, <laughs> but Stephen Cluxton's distribution has been nothing short of disgraceful today. <laughs> oh, Mickey no, Newman, oh, oh, take me, a bow! Me, what a, that's the, the score of the game right oh, there, Gary. On his left, no bother. Mickey Newman, I heard he was a good player. Yeah, he's got the hair dye in for tonight. <laughs> I need to go. And I have I can't even get the ball. How does one build an attack in this game, right? <laughs> I, don't know, I actually don't know how to keep possession. Oh, oh he's no. got like, bam, Gary's got the hang of this now. He's oh, made this is flying. He's incredible. Made. This could be one of the biggest shocks in the history of football. Yeah. Well, when you can hold up to a point, it's always a good sign, so. <laughs> Come on, Keen O'Sullivan. Ah. Oh. This is as bad as it's been for Dublin. And Simons on to Costello, no. McMahon. Cluxton. Looks a bit lackadaisical under that, but it's all right, we've got away with it. Darren Gavin. Back and he block, it's blocked down. But this is. Brian Howard on the ball, you need, Dublin are going to need a goal here, Mick, and I'm not sure how they're going to get it because they can't get the ball out of their own half this half. <laughs> oh, Donald Kogan scuffs it. it. Costello is through. Bother, He's got yeah. options left and right. He goes to Paddy Andrews. The bleach tear of Paddy Andrews, can he bury it? Oh, he's put it, elected to put it over, and he's put it wide. Your what can like? I say? What can I say? I'm in disgrace. I'm sorry. I've let down the entire cosmopolitan area of Dublin. I apologise. It's a late rally here. Colin Callaghan to Niall Scully. Scully, there's three on one with Dublin here. Oh, oh what, what, a a what a block! Oh, over the bar. Who was it that blocked that? Seamus Lavin, I believe. I don't can think we go back? Can we take a look at the replay there of that? Yeah. This was. This could win. This could win. Uh, this could win me the Leinster Championship. There if we, we look here. Straight through. Here comes Seamus Lavin. There's three Dublin lads. Oh, 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 your body on the line. Outrageous. Stuff. I like the ambitious dive from the goalkeeper to try and save that point. That Let me there. see this. Can we take another look here? Can we get in closer? Here we, well, here go. we go. Good eight look or nine steps there. Oh. <laughs> I think he blocked it. And then, yeah, the goalkeeper goes. <laughs> It's just covering his angles. Yeah, oh, I like that the umpires, by the way, are wearing the full kit. Yeah. Like in the old days. Uh, As it should be. Not. Yeah. Full kit umpires. Zoom match. Okay, I can get back into this. How long is left? Two minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes Two left. Fa Dublin three points behind. They need a goal badly. Can they claim this kick out? They can. Cormac Costello has really come into it. No substitutions from either team so far. It's an interesting tactic. McMahon through again. He's having a start. Oh, he went for the point. <laughs> And he completely oh, stopped he could be on it again here. But Simons, straight to Kogan. Oh, great. Oh, 45. For the 45. 45. That's enough, that'll waste time. That's yeah, it's as good as the score now. As good as the score is right. It's over, guys. Oh, this is straight over the bar as well. Flanagan taking the 45 now. Nope. No. It's gone wide. Right, this but is it, it might be enough. It might we be are an injury time. Injury time There's it? no black card in this game, is there? No. I'm all right, so. Kogan with cynical fouls. Newman claims. Oh, that was it. That was the game winning score. Claims the kick out, but kicks it straight to Cluxton. 
Um, Jack McCaffrey, no, none of his uh, trade back speedy runs today. Brian Howard into Costello. This could oh, be it. There we go. Costello is through. He needs a goal. <laughs> Bring him back. Oh, an attack on McDonald Kogan. He mops it up as well. A brilliant dispossession. <laughs> and another rock. Me, they throwing their bodies on the line here. Howard needs to have a oh, fight. Oh, where did it go? He does not. He fights Kogan. And me, oh. away. Me, are the Leinster champions. Yes. Unbelievable was... stuff. The referee's performance, how do you rate it? Uh, fair to middling. I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I, I wouldn't like to comment on the referee. Uh, you get in trouble for that kind of thing. I'm not going to say anything about the referee. You know, he knows what he did out there and he has to, I hope he can sleep at night, but I'm not going to say anything about the referee. Gary Connaughton, your first match as Mead manager after being in goals for Westmead for so long. How does it feel to finally win a Leinster title? Well, I don't know about that, but uh, Look, it was a great day for Mead. We come up here, nobody gave us a chance. They weren't even, they were expecting about 500 people at the game. The Mead people showed up in droves and you could see the fear in the Dublin players' eyes there. Cluxton was kicking balls out, barely reaching his own 21 with them. And they were just, Dublin were, they were rattled. I don't know what to tell you, they were rattled. They, they weren't expecting us to go up there and then hammer them. Ha a three point hammering, that's what it was. As you can see, Mead are destined to win the Leinster Championship this Sunday. You heard it here first. Thanks very much for watching.